And as we take a look at the month, every box that you see highlighted in red here is an above average day for the month of October. There have been only two days so far this month that we have not been above average for a high. This is really significant and has been very warm so far this October. We're averaging about nine degrees above average. Here's a look at storm for max. We do find a couple of very isolated rain showers out there tonight. And so as we head into the next few hours, a few sprinkles possible. The main low though remains well to our west. It is headed our way. will bring us some rain as we head into tomorrow and Thursday. Here's how it looks with future forecast. Uh, we pick this up in the morning, the morning fairly quiet, but by Wednesday afternoon, we've got at least a few scattered showers moving in. Then Wednesday evening, we see another round that moves in, and I think we could see a couple of thunder showers by Wednesday evening. Maybe a few gusty winds and some pockets of heavier rain, but overall, the rain really doesn't look that impressive with this system. I think most of us end up with under a quarter of an inch of total rain. The latest allergy report, pretty good news here. The molds have been in the very high category for a while now. Today, they're back down in the moderate category, so at least things are improving. 53 for an overnight low, partly cloudy with a couple of spotty showers. Tomorrow, again, not a washout. We're just talking about scattered rain, and again, could see a couple of isolated thunder showers. Notice the temperature, 71. It's still pretty mild for us tomorrow. The big difference comes by Thursday, 54. We likely see that high early in the day, and then temperatures fall Thursday afternoon. It's only in the 40s, plus it's breezy, making it feel even cooler. Friday, Saturday uh, looking pretty nice, much more fall like. Look at these overnight lows, though. It's going to be pretty chilly, and we could be talking about a more widespread frost. Chance for a couple of showers on Sunday. Early next week, though, another little warm up with highs back in the 60s.